Hi, Helen from crystalsandcrochet.com here and welcome to part one of the Sacred Space Crochet Along. Part one is rounds one through to 30. So there's quite a lot of rounds in this first part but most of them are quite small. So I hope you have fun, I hope you enjoy it. Please remember to download either the written pattern or the photo tutorial so that you can read along and also please use these videos to help you with stitch placement and also for any stitches that maybe you're not familiar with. There's a couple of new ones in here, so even if you've done some of my other patterns, there are some new stitches in here. Okay, so this um, one that I'm doing the video tutorials in, I am using Stylecraft Special double knitting with a 4mm hook. The finished size of this blanket is approximately 60 inches square so it is a full-size blanket for all the information please go to my website and check out the introducing sacred space crochet along post the link will be beneath this video that will give you all the information on the amounts of yarn that you need and all of the links to various different things, um, useful information that you're going to need before we start. Okay, so I hope you enjoy this, hope you have fun. Let's get started. Okay, so round one, we're going to start with a magic ring. If you're not sure how to make a magic ring, then do go check out on my YouTube channel. Um, it's all explained there. Okay, the pattern then tells us to chain one and make 12 half double crochets into the ring. Okay, so half double crochets, yarn over once, into the ring, pull up a loop, yarn over, and through all three loops to make our half double. Okay, so you're going to make 12. So 2, 3, 10, 11, and 12. Okay, and we're then going to join to the first half double with a slip stitch. I like to keep my slip stitches really small so I'm using a four millimeter hook to work with so I go down two sizes so to a two millimeter hook and then let's get that tail end out of the way make your slip stitch <coughs> and pull up the loop Close your magic ring nice and tight and you'll see, if I zoom right in there, okay, you can see that the slip stitch there is now really tiny so it makes it much easier to not mistake that slip stitch for a stitch when we come to work round two. Okay, so that's round one, 12 half double crochet into the magic ring. Round two, we're going to chain three, which counts as our double crochet. Now, if you want to, you can make a starting double crochet there. OK, 
Okay, and we're going to double crochet into the same stitch. So this is the stitch here that we made our slip stitch into. So that's where we make that second double crochet. And we've now got a little mini repeat. We're going to chain two and we're going to skip the next stitch and two double crochet into the next stitch. Okay, so it's chain two, skip one stitch, two double crochet in the next stitch. You're going to do that five times. Okay, so that's chain two, skip one stitch, two double crochet into the next stitch. That's five times round to there. Then we're going to do another chain two and we're then going to fasten off and secure our ends. Now I always use an invisible join again if you're not sure how to do that do go check out the tutorial on my YouTube channel. Okay moving on to round three and we're going to join with a standing back post single crochet around the second double of any pair. Okay, so obviously that's first one, there's second one. So back post, we're going to come from the back around, all the way around, pick up a loop, and there is our back post single made around the post and always make sure that you go right around the post below this all of these top loops so below that one that goes across diagonally okay I'm going to zoom in a li little bit for this so we are going to work in front of the chain two space here and make a double treble into the skipped stitch of round one. Okay, so for a double treble we're going to go yarn over three times and then come down in front of the chain space through the stitch and just push that chain space backwards so that you can get in to that stitch quite easily. And then we're through two loops four times for a double treble. Okay, we're then going to single crochet in the chain two space. And we're then going to make another double treble into that same stitch, which is our skipped stitch from round one. This one's a little bit trickier to get that bent right back and through. There we go. And now we are going to back post single around the next two stitches. So from the back, one and two. Okay, so that's our repeat. You're going to do that five times now coming around. So the pattern says for you to repeat it six times. We've done the first one. And you're just going to omit that last back post single because that's the very first one that you made when you joined. Okay, so let me just show you again. Double treble, yarn over three times. Into the skipped stitch from round one. Bend round two back so that you can get to it nice and easily. single crochet in the chain two space and then another double treble in that same skipped stitch from round one. Okay. 
and then back post single around the next two. Okay, so carry on all the way round and I'll catch up with you at the end. Okay, so I've come all the way round, made that back post single around here and then it says in the pattern to omit the last one because we've already made that. And then we're going to join to that standing back post single and fasten off. Now, I would recommend getting into the habit of checking your stitch count each round before you actually cut your yarn and work your ends away. Make sure that your stitch counts are correct and that you've always started in the right place, finished in the right place, etc. And then you will not have any problems at all. I tend, as I'm working, to leave my tail ends until I've done two or three rounds so that it it makes it easier to work them away um, but it also means that if you've made a mistake and you've not counted and you need to go back then it's easier to undo a row if you haven't already sewn all the ends away. So okay. that is round three okay. finished. Moving on to round four, we're going to join with a standing single crochet in the second back post single of any repeat. Okay, I always like to make sure that I start a new round opposite where my ends from the last round is. So there are my ends at the bottom. So I'm going to come up to the top here and we made two back post singles here. So that's the second one there. So standing single, straight in, yarn over, make our single crochet. Okay, and now we start a repeat that again, we're going to repeat six times. So we're going to skip the next stitch which is this double treble. We're going to make seven treble crochets in the next stitch which is the single which is why in the pattern it's got SC in brackets because that's the hint for the stitch that it goes into. We're then going to skip this next double treble and we're going to single crochet in those two. Okay, so that's our repeat. So skip the next stitch and then seven treble into that single crochet that's between the two double trebles. Two. Three. Four, five, six, and seven. Okay, let's just double check that. Two, four, six, seven. Yeah. Skip the next stitch, single crochet in the next two. Okay, so you're going to do that six times altogether, which will bring you all the way round. So you will have six shells of seven treble and six pairs of single crochet, so 12 single crochets altogether. Okay, so six times. Okay, so we've got six shells, each with seven trebles, and then two.
two single crochets between each. Okay, and then join to that standing single and fasten off, secure your ends. Okay, we'll move straight on to round five. <clears throat> We're going to join with a standing back post single around the last treble of any repeat. Okay, so let's see where we go. Here we go. Okay, so it's the seventh treble, the last one, and we're going to join with a back post single around that last treble. Okay, we're going to skip the next two stitches, so those two single crochets we skip. And we're then going to work these shells into a point. Okay, so we're going to go back post single around the next stitch, back post half double around the next stitch, back post double around the next stitch. So there's single, half double, double, and then this next stitch, which is the centre one, or the fourth one, we're going to back post double, chain one, back post double. And in the pattern, the hint is to make the second stitch below the first, okay? So, do a back post double as normal, and then we're going to chain one <clears throat> and then our next back post double that's going to go around that same post but it needs to sit below it. Okay, And the reason for that is the stitch that's at the bottom will pull over to this side. The one at the top will pull to this side. So it just helps that point and our stitches to sit absolutely correct. What you don't want to do is make the second one above the first one because it will pull this point out of line. Okay, so exactly as it says in the pattern. Okay, and we're then gonna sort of mirror what we've done here. So it's back post around the next, back post double around the next, back post half double, around the next, back post single around the next. And as you can see what we've created is a little point. Okay, so let me just show you again. Back post, skip those two single crochets. Back post single, back post half double, back post double, and then that center stitch, we're going to go back post double, chain one, back post double below that first stitch, and then back post double on the next one, back post half double on the next one, whoops, and back post single on the next one. Okay, so you can see we're starting to get some little points there. Okay, so go ahead and do that four more times. So we've got six repeats in total. And join to this first standing back post single with a slip stitch. I'll catch up with you there. Okay, so that's round five finished. Now we're going to move on to round six. And we are going to chain one and then we're going to SC two together. So single crochet two together over the same stitch. So that's this last back post single and the next one, which is that first one. 
So we've chained one, so in, pull up a loop, into that next stitch and pull up a loop, yarn over and through. So we've single crocheted two together there, okay? And we are now going to half double in the next three stitches, oops, which will take us up to our point. That's two and three. Then in the chain one point space, we're going to make two half double, chain one, two half double. Okay, so one, two, chain one, and one, oops, and two. Okay, let me zoom in there. You can see this post here, but you can't see the top loops of the stitch. This is what is referred to as a hidden stitch. So when we make a point or a corner and we put a lot of stitches into a small chain one or two space, that first stitch tends to get its top loops covered. So all you need to do is just scush those stitches along and you will then see the top of that stitch again. Okay, let me zoom back out. So when it says do not skip first hidden stitch, that's what it's referring to. Okay, and we're going to half double in the next three. So it's one, two, and three. And then we're going to single crochet two together over these two back post singles at the bottom of the points. Okay, so very simple, three half double and then in the chain one space, two half double, chain one, two half double, three half double coming down making sure that you don't skip that first hidden stitch and then single two together over the bottom two stitches in each point. Okay so five more times and then you are going to join to that first single crochet two together, fasten off and secure your ends. Okay so now we've got a nice little star I've actually worked all of my ends away now. Um, like I said before, I like to do it every few rounds so that I keep the back of my work nice and neat and tidy, exactly like the front. Okay, so now we're going to move on to round seven. And we're going to join with a standing, excuse me, <coughs> back post single around the last half double of any repeat. Okay, so remember we made a single crochet two together there. So that is our last half double there. Okay. So let me just zoom in a little bit. Oops, wrong way, sorry. Make it closer. Okay, so there's your single two together, that's your last half double there. And remember to go underneath that third loop, if I can pull that out so that you can see. So you've got your two top loops and the third loop that goes across there. Make sure that your hook goes underneath that third loop so that you're not going just around the top of the stitch. So into there and a back post single just like that. Okay. Okay. 
working in front of the previous rounds we're going to treble two together over the next two stitches from round four okay so remember we skipped these two single crochets here in between our shells that's where we're going to work into okay so it's a treble two together so yarn over twice into that first stitch and just sort of pull those rounds back so that you can get into that stitch through two loops twice so that's a partial treble or the first leg of your two together made yarn over twice again into the second single crochet get in there that's it through two loops twice you've got three loops on your hook yarn over pull through all three okay so it's a treble crochet two together because we've joined those two stitches together. Skip the next stitch of round six. So if we pull that forward, the one that we're going to skip is the single two together in there. Okay, and we are then going to back post single around the next five stitches okay so that's the five half double crochets that first one's always just a little bit tricky because this effectively is sitting in front of it okay so five back post oops singles will take us to our chain one point space okay there's five half doubles there and we've made those five back post singles around those half doubles we're going to make three single crochets into this chain one space one, two, and three. And we're then going to back post single around the next five stitches. Again, that first one after the corner where you're first going from a normal stitch to a back post stitch can be a little bit tricky. So just take your time pulling the yarn up and working through those stitches that's four and five okay so that is one repeat we've made the treble two together down into these two single crochets that we missed in or skipped in round four we then skip this single two together that we made in round six. Five back post singles coming up. Three normal singles into the chain one space. Five back post singles coming down. Okay, so six times, so we've done one, so five more and then join to that standing back post single that we made there, fasten off and secure your ends. Okay, so again, make sure you check your stitch counts with every round so that you've got the right number of repeats for the right number of stitches. Okay, so let's move on to round eight. 
we're going to join with a standing single crochet in the third single of any point group. Okay, so we made three single crochets here. One, two, three. So we're going to go into there with a standing single just like that. Okay, and we're then going to single crochet in the next two stitches and then those are the three singles that we will omit on the very last repeat that we do. Okay, so the repeat starts with skip three stitches, so three here and then in the next stitch which is this treble two together we are going to do two treble cluster and then chain one two treble cluster four times so we're going to have five two treble clusters and four chain one spaces okay so for a two treble cluster we are going to yarn over twice into the stitch pull up our loop and through two loops twice then again yarn over twice into the same stitch and through two loops twice and then through all three so this one was a treble two together because we were making it in two different stitches. This one is a two treble cluster because we're making it into the same stitch. Okay, so chain one and then a two treble cluster and we're going to do that four times. Oops. So over we go and over we go. Okay, so that's twice. In for a third one. Chain one. Okay, so we have got five two treble clusters, one, two, three, four, five, and then we've got four chain one spaces, one, two, three, four. Okay, we're then going to skip the next three stitches and single crochet in the next seven. Okay, so skip one, two, three, and then we're going to single crochet one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So it's the two stitches before the point group, those three in the point group, and the two stitches afterwards. Okay, so that is our repeat. Two treble cluster, and then two treble, and then chain one, two treble cluster four times. So you've got a total of five two treble clusters and four chain one spaces, all made into that treble two together. Skip three, and then seven singles. Okay, so you're going to repeat that five more times, so six times all together and join to that standing single crochet that we made there, fasten off and secure your ends. Okay, and I will see you for round nine. Okay, so moving on to round nine, we are going to join with a standing 
front post double around the last two treble cluster of any group. So let me just zoom in a weeny bit. Okay, so a standing front post double, so we're going to go round, all the way round that last cluster. And make a standing front post double. And then again, obviously that's the last stitch that we're going to omit, so we've now got our repeat that starts again. So we're going to skip those first two singles, first two stitches, single crochet in the next three, okay so that's the three that were made into that point group there. We're going to skip the next two stitches and then we've got another little mini repeat within the repeat. We're going to front post double around the next stitch and we're then going to make two doubles in the next chain one space. I'm going to do that four times. Okay, so front post double and then two double into the chain one space. Front post double, oops, entangled on the ends, two doubles. Front post double and two doubles. So that's our four times, and then we're going to front post double around the last stitch, or last cluster. Okay, so again, there's our repeat. Skip two single crochet in three, skip two, front post double around the cluster, two double in the chain one space, one, two, three, four times, and then end with a front post double around that last cluster. Okay, so again, do that repeat five more times, so we've got six in total and then join to this standing front post double with a slip stitch. Okay, before we move on to round 10, make sure that you double check your stitch count on each of these pieces because it is gonna be very important for round 11 that we've got this stitch count right. Okay, so let's move on to round 10. So we're going to chain three. That counts as a double crochet. And we're then going to double crochet into that same stitch. Okay, so that is the front post double that we made around this last cluster when we first started. You're then going to skip the next stitch, single crochet in the next stitch, skip the next stitch. And we're then going to do two double crochet in the next stitch. Whoops. Double crochet in the next two. and we're going to do that four times. So your 
increase your two double crochet will fall into the front post double each time. Okay, so it's two into the front post double and then one in each of the next two. <clears throat> two into the front post, one in each of the next two. And for the fourth time, two into the front post double, and one in each of the next two. And then two double crochet in the next stitch, which brings us to that last front post double of the repeat, which matches to this one where we started off. Okay, so skip the first stitch of these three, skip that one, single crochet into the second one, skip the next one, then it's two double crochet into the front post double, double crochet in the next two stitches. And repeat that all the way around, so your increases are in each of those front post stitches. Okay, so six times all together, there's the first one, so five more. Obviously omitting those last two double crochet. Join to the top of that chain three, which counts as a double crochet. Fasten off and secure your ends, and I will see you for round 11. Okay, round 11. We are going to join with a standing front loop single crochet in the 16th double of any repeat. Okay, so we've got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. So third from last into the front loop and make a single crochet. Okay, so this round is all ruffle stitch. So if you've not done this before, each ruffle stitch is made over three stitches. So that's why we've got three here to work into. So we start off with a front loop single and then we're going to work around the post of that same stitch, make a half double, and you may find just turning your work slightly will help to work around the post. So one front post half double, and then three front post doubles. So one. two and three, all around the post of the same stitch as that front loop single that we started with. You're then going to skip that next stitch and make a front loop single in the next stitch. Okay, That is your ruffle stitch complete. So you've got the front loop and all the post stitches on this one. Then you skip a stitch, then you've got the front loop to close your ruffle on that third stitch. Okay. So now we're going to begin our repeat. We're going to skip that single crochet and we're then going to make six ruffle stitches over the next 18 stitches. Okay, so skip the single, front loop, 
in that next stitch and then front post half double and then one two and three front post doubles skip that next stitch and the top of it almost gets hidden because there's an awful lot around this post so you're going to skip that next one front loop in to the next one that's one ruffle stitch okay so then we start again front loop in the next stitch and then the front post stitches a half double and then three double one two and three skip the next stitch front loop in the next stitch okay now where people often go wrong with this is they'll forget that second front loop single and just go straight into making the front post stitches around there that's the third so there's three three stitches there that's the third one that we make that in so then again it's a front loop single followed by the front post stitches a half double and three double skip the next stitch front loop single in the next stitch okay so that's how your ruffle stitches should look from the front if you look let me see if I can zoom in if you look at the top you'll see you've got one stitch here where you can see both loops and then you'll have two front loop stitches so you can only see the back loops of them then you've got two loops one loop one loop okay so that's how you can just double check to make sure that you're going in the right place okay so let me just make the rest of those okay. and I'll come back to you. so that's one repeat that was our first ruffle stitch that we made at the beginning and that's the one that we're going to omit from the end so you've got one two three four five six ruffle stitches made over each group of 18 double crochet the single crochet that's in between the double crochet groups there you skip that stitch okay so that's what you are aiming for. Six ruffle stitches per repeat. Okay, so above each little flower, like that. Okay, so that's one repeat. Go ahead and do the other five. And I will catch up with you at the end just to go through joining to that because sometimes that can be a little bit tricky and it can throw people off a little bit. Okay, okay so once you've finished that last ruffle stitch, just onto the needle there, you need to join to this front loop single. So if you're going to do an invisible join, come into the top of that front post half double down through that front loop single to make your join as normal but then hook up behind 
and pull these tail ends down away like that so that they're sitting below these stitches here. Then as you come to work this next round you're not going to get confused by ends dangling in the way and also it's quite difficult to work these ends away yet. You want to wait until you've done this next round or so and then work them away. Okay, moving on to round 12. With this round, the only stitches you're going to work into are the skipped stitches behind the ruffle stitches. So where you've got the two front loop stitches together, you're going to skip those and you're just going to work into that skipped stitch behind each ruffle stitch. Okay, so we are going to join with a standing double behind the last ruffle of any of these repeats. So this one just before that skipped single and into the skipped stitch which is very easy to see because it's the one that's got the two top loops and double crochet in there and make two more double crochet whoops, into that same stitch. So we've got three double crochet all in that same skipped stitch behind the ruffle stitch. Okay, so for this round you're literally going to repeat that all the way round. So it's just every skipped stitch you're going to make three double crochet into. So you're actually going to do that 35 times. That was the first one. So 35, so there's actually 36 groups of three double crochet working all the way round. Okay, so nice easy round, just making sure that you get into that skipped stitch each time for your group of three double crochets. Okay, so go ahead, work all the way round like that. So that's a little bit difficult to see that very light colour. There we go, if I go in closer you can see it more clearly. Okay, so three double crochet into each skipped stitch behind the ruffles all the way round and then join to this first standing double with a slip stitch and I will see you for the next round. Okay, so double check that you have got 36 groups of three double crochet made behind each of those ruffle stitches. Okay, now the pattern says for round 13, your work will cup for the next two rounds. Okay, and you will see why as we go through. Okay, so we're going to make a beginning double crochet three together over this same stitch and the next two. So let me just zoom in a little bit, see if we can get a little bit better light here. So to make a beginning double crochet three together, you're going to chain two. That counts as the first partial double. Yarn over into the next stitch and through two loops. That's your second partial double. And then into the third stitch and up. So you've got three loops on your hook. 
yarn over, pull through. Okay, so the hint at the top of the round, at the beginning of the round, also says you may find it helpful to mark the chain one spaces. And the chain one space is going to come here in between these two. So on each repeat, it will be in the dips that you'll have your chain one spaces. Okay, so our repeat begins, chain one. So let's just grab a stitch marker and pop it in there. And then we're going to double crochet three together over the next three stitches. So that's one, two and three. And through all of those loops. And we're then going to chain two. And then we've got a little mini repeat where we're going to double crochet three together over the next three stitches and then chain three, three times. Okay, so that's one, two and three together, chain three. Now the other thing to help stop, sorry I've got my yarn all tangled here, stop your work curling too much is don't do these chains too tightly. Okay, so we've chained three, we're going to double crochet three together again in that next one. and chain three. One, two, three. So it's two. Here comes the third one. And chain three. Sorry if you can hear um, a noise in the background. It is absolutely pouring with rain outside. Okay, so now we are going to double crochet three together over that next little group. And then chain two. Oops. Okay, and that brings us down into the valley here where we're going to do that last DC3 together. Okay, before we go into the chain one and then start that repeat again. Okay, so as you can see, it's going to tip forward slightly. I bring it down a bit might be able to, that's better the lights not so bright there okay once we work into these chain spaces as we get the next couple of rounds further on then it will sit flat but particularly if you work your chains very tight it will make this curl up even more okay but don't worry about it it's all part of the plan Okay, so go ahead and repeat that five more times. So we've got six repeats in total. And just put those stitch markers into the chain one spaces because it will make it easier for you. Okay, so we've got a chain one space at the beginning or in between the repeats. We've then got two chain two spaces and three chain three spaces with those six double crochet three togethers on each repeat. Okay, so go ahead, finish that off, join to that beginning double crochet three together, 
fasten off and secure your ends and I will see you for round 14. Okay, so as you can see once we're joined it does curl up a little bit but that will all lay nice and flat after we've completed the next two rounds. So round 14 we're going to join with a standing single crochet in any chain one space. So that's the space where we have placed our marker. So a standing single crochet in there. And then front post single around the next stitch, two half doubles in the chain two space, that's two, and then front post half double around the next stitch, three double crochet in the next chain three space, one, two and three and then we're going to front post double around the next stitch. We're then going to make five double crochet in the next chain three space so that's the sort of center one there. So one, two, three, four and five, whoops, and five. Okay, and then we're going to sort of mirror that as we come down. So front post double around the next stitch three double crochet in the next chain three space one two and three then a front post half double two half double in the chain two space a front post single around the next one and then a single in the chain one space okay so that is our repeat so the repeat starts with a front post single and then two half doubles in the chain two space front post half double three double in the first chain three space front post half front post double sorry five double in that next chain three space front post double three double front post half double two half double front post single and single in that chain one space okay so go ahead and repeat that so that we've got six repeats all together, done one there, so five more, and then join to that standing single crochet with a slip stitch, and I will catch up with you there. Okay, so you'll notice again your work's still curling up at this point, don't worry about it. Let's move on to round 15, oops, wrong way, sorry and we are going to chain one and single crochet in the same stitch so that's the single crochet that we made into that chain one space single crochet in the next stitch and then we're going to start our repeat Okay, so we're going to half double crochet in the next three stitches. One, two, and three. 
and then we're going to double crochet in the next six. One, two, three, oops, four, five, and six. And your next stitch will be the third stitch of that five that you made in that central chain three space there. So in that next stitch we're going to make a point. So we're going to do two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. One, two, chain two and then two double crochet okay all into that same stitch and then we're just going to mirror that coming down the other side so we've got six double crochet one oops. Two, three, four, five, and six. And we've then half double crochet in the next three. Oops. That's one, two, and three, and we're then going to single crochet in the next three. One, two, and three. So nice simple repeat where we've formed a point. It will still tip forward slightly, don't worry about that. Just make sure that you've got your stitch count absolutely right. So you've got three half double crochet, six double, and then in that central stitch you're going to make a point of two double, chain two, two double, six double, three half double, three single as you come down. Okay, so go ahead and repeat that six times just remembering that you've already made two single crochet here so you're going to omit those once you come round to this side join to that first single crochet fasten off and secure your ends and I'll see you for round 16